So this is our question. So just like we explained in the previous videos, this is what we are going to be using. So this is just a for loop circuit. I'm not sure if I've gotten the direction of the very similar to what was exam last year. So we still follow the same procedures. Let's look at how we can solve this. So loop one, loop two, loop three, loop four. Then we go as we always go. Now we are going to be using classwise because this is the calculator that can solve transcendence equation four or not because we have four loops. So we check for equation. So equation is nine. So on your own class width it might not be at nine, it might fall at maybe um, A B C and I don't think this has A B C. Okay, it has A B C. So you can see this is A, this is B, this is C. So wherever it falls, just look for it. So it's nine here. So equation. So it's a general equation. So four or not. So I select four. Now, so I will stay in the first loop. Total resistance of the first loop is five plus ten. Then between the first and second loop, I have ten. So anything between we have a negative sign. Between the first and third loop, that is zero because the first loop is not connected to the third loop. Also, the first loop is not connected to the fourth loop. Now, I have to go around the first loop, calculate the voltage. If I go around the first loop and calculate the voltage, I'm going this way. What we have? I will have plus 15 my dot plus 25 because of how it is. Because here I'm moving from negative to positive. Here I'm moving from negative to positive. So I'm moving the same way in both cases. So, and that's the same convention that we follow for the remaining ones. So we have 15 plus 25. Now, we are now in the second loop. And we do for between the second and first, minus 10. In the second loop, we have 10 plus 15. Between the second and third, we have minus 15. Then, between the second and fourth, they are not connected. Go around the second loop, we have minus 25. Then, um, minus 5. So, we have minus 25, minus 5. Okay. Now, we are in the third loop. Between the third and fourth, they are not connected. Third and second minus 15. In the third loop, we have 15 plus 5. So 15 plus 5. Now between the third and fourth, we have minus 5. And go around the third loop, calculate the voltage. We have plus 5. And uh, we have plus 5 and plus 10. So plus 5, plus 10. So we have this. Now we are in the fourth loop. Now in the fourth loop, between the first and fourth, not connected. For fourth and second, not connected. Fourth and third, minus 5. Then fourth loop itself. So we have just that 5. Then... Uh, calculate the total voltage. We have minus 10, minus 20. Now, so the current in the first loop is minus 1. Second loop is minus 5.5. Third loop is minus 6.5. Fourth loop is what? Minus 12.5. So, and that is what we have to find because we are looking for the current in 
the 20 volts, which is the current in this last part. So for us to get minus 12.5 means that the current is not pointing, is not clockwise because I went clockwise in all of the loops. So that means that I should have gone um, the, the correct direction of the current is anti-clockwise instead of clockwise. But the value is still accurate, like the value is still correct. So that is how we solve for four loop circuits. So even if they are more connected than this, we still do it exactly the same way. So if you have watched the video on two loops and three loops, what I'm doing here should not be new. So don't be a surprise. So that's why I'm not explaining much. If you have not watched, if you have not seen those videos, please try to um, check those videos on my channel. The videos are there. So let's quickly do one more example of a for loop circuit. So let's say we have this circuit. So this is another example of a circuit that has four loops. So let's have values. Let's say this is 20 volts. We have 10 volts. We have 5 volts. We have 30 volts. So we have a value for each resistor. So we have a 4 ohm resistor, 5 ohm resistor, 6 ohm, 1 ohm, these are just random values, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 6 ohm. So we do the same thing with 1, with 2, with 3. Then we input our values into the calculator. So we clear all these values. So in loop one, we have what? Four plus six plus one. So that gives us that. Now between one and two, we have minus six. Between one and three, we have minus one. Okay, go around the first loop, we have plus 30. Okay, sorry. Between 1 and 4. So loop 1 and loop 4. So you can see that there is no resistor that is connecting loop 1 with loop 4. So that's going to be 0. Then um, go around the first loop, calculate the voltage, we have 30. Now we are in loop 2. So between 2 and 1, we have minus 6. In loop 2 itself, we have 6 plus 2 plus 5. Then between 2 and 3, that's 0. There is no single resistor. Between 2 and 4, we have what? Minus 2. Then go around loop 2, calculate the voltage, we have minus 20. Okay? So we are now in the third loop. Between third and first, minus 1. Between third and second, that's zero. Between third and fourth, sorry, in third itself. Now in third itself, we have um, one plus six. So that's third itself. 
the third and fourth, no resistor. The only voltage source that separates the third and the fourth one. Then, go around the third loop, you have plus 5, then plus 10. So we have this. Now, we are now in the fourth loop, fourth and first, no resistor, fourth and second, 2 ohm, fourth and third, no resistor. In the fourth, we have 2 plus 10, that's 5. Now, go around that loop, you have minus 10. So let's see, so you have 2.572, that's the current in the first loop. I1 is 2.572 in here, okay? So we have what? Minus 0 0.702, that's I2. Minus 0 0.702, okay? So I3 is 2.510. I3 is 2.510, then I4 is what? Minus 2.28, I4 is minus 2.28 ampere. So if I want to get the in-between currents, example, if I want to know this current, so we can see that that current is between loop 1 and loop 2, so I will subtract I1 and I2. So that current will be I1 minus I2. The arrangement does not matter. So that will be 2.572 minus minus 0 0.702. So if I want to know this current in between loop 2 and 4, so I will say I2 minus I4. So minus 0 0.702 minus minus 2.28 so it doesn't matter if you like and also say i4 minus i2 it's only the sign that will be different or since what you want is adjust the values you can easily get those so that should be all